Welcome to RBN Playoff Baseball, brought to you live from MetLife Stadium at 5.05 p.m. on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Our first matchup, MLDS Game 1, the New Alexandria Spartans versus the West Virginia Mountaineers. Coming to our ceremonial first pitch, we have Meme Man. Spartans starting lineup today. Batting first, Juice. Batting second, Bix. Weehawk. And then Broken. Juice pitching for the Spartans today. The Spartans, in their team history, have four World Series and have amassed 11 banners. Meanwhile, the West Virginia Mountaineers, in their, I believe this is their fourth season, have yet to get a banner from a playoff victory and so we begin the f play ball the first pitch called strike from juice so foul ball for squeaker squeaker leads off for the mountaineers he'll take the third pitch no play ball play ball called 0-2 count and that's a high ball one one and two And he'll hit that one. Gone! First hit of the series is a home run by Squeaker. And the Mountaineers will take a quick 1-0 lead. First hit, 1-2 and two count. One run shot to left field to the bleachers. Squeaker with the home run. He had four in the regular season. So that's a very quick way to start off this game for the Mountaineers, and it'll get them on top really fast. Juice, not really used to giving up runs that quickly. In the regular season, Juice was quite an effective pitcher with a three ERA and a whip of two. Quite, it's pretty effective. So now batting, however, two slash left is, is up. First pitch taken for ball one. Next one, also a ball, two and oh. Takes that one as well. It'll be... Waiting on the call. Called strike one. Two and one. He'll swing and miss at that high one, bringing us to two each. And that pitch, in there, strike three. One down, in top one. So, three slash DH now up. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch, swing and a miss. Strike one. He'll take that one. One and two, in there. And swing and a miss. Strike three. That'll bring us qu two quick outs after the solo shot. Uh, Perkins up now. Play ball called. Two outs. First pitch called strike one. Second pitch whacked to center. Fielded by the center. Out of first. And that'll end the inning. One run on one hit. No man left on base. The only hit being a solo home run by Squeaker. So we move into the bottom of the first for the Spartans. Spartans batting four today. Juice, Bix, Weehawk, and Broken.
when I'm in town, yeah, party's going down, yeah, shoot them down. And now on to my tradition of having the sound off while Nass is batting. Juice leading off. He was the home run, he's the home run leader in the ML during the regular season with 10 on the season. One and one count for Juice. Two and one called. Ball. That pitch will move us to three and one. He'll swing and miss at that one. Full count. And the payoff pitch to Juice. Gonna be walk. So the Spartans have a leadoff base runner. Big slow up now. He batted 500 on the regular season, 7 for 14, with one home run and four RBIs. 0-1, up to the first. Second pitch, swing and a miss, strike two, 0-2. He'll take that one, 1-2. And, and a swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring us our first out. So one out in bottom one for Weehawk. Okay, and we're back now, so that'll, so during that, we experienced a couple, or a little bit of a technical issue, and in that time, Weehawk struck out. So Juice is up, again, 1 for 1, or 0 for 0 so far with a walk. First pitch to him, taking ball 1. Next one to him, hit to shallow right. Now by the fielder, throw not in time. So they'll have runners on first and second. Big slow up now, 0 for 1 with a strikeout. He's 0 for 0 today, or 0 for 1 with the strikeout so far. Play ball called. First pitch, in there. Strike one. Next one taken. Ball one, one and one. Swing and a miss. Brings us to one and two. And that looks... I look, looked in, but two and two here. That'll be full count, ball three. And that pitch swing and a miss, strike three. So no runs on one hit, two men left on base. Hit and a walk. SJ Perkins up. One zero count, or not SJ Perkins. One zero one one count for Ducky. Two and one. That pitch will move us. That is that's a foul ball. Two and two. Ooh. And that pitch, strike three called in there. Squeaker. Yep. Up now, Squeaker. One for one with the leadoff home run in top one. 
looking to get on looking to get a hold of another one here first pitch strike one called the one out of that 0 and 2 on another called strike he'll take ball one high outside pitch moves us to two and two and that one's fouled back so it'll be two and two again looking for squeaker to get on base because right now he has the highest OPP for anyone in West Virginia and that one full count this is an opportunity to strike put a man on board and the call for that one in there, strike three. There. Two outs. Great pitch, my juice today. So who's two? The goat. Who? Who's the goat? Is this quiz quiz? I believe so. Okay. So Quiz Quiz quickly moves himself to an 0-2 count, and he will swing and a miss. Strike three. So that's three quick strikeouts to end top two. It's sad to see Quiz Quiz form decline as of recently. As a former Silver Slugger, I was expecting to be better. Yeah. But no runs on no hits, no men left on base. As we move into bottom two, 1-0 still West Virginia. Weehawk leading off, 0 for, 0 for 1 today so far. And there's a fan in the uh, locker room. I don't know who that is. I think that's Elias. One of the biggest troublemakers in this league, probably. Okay, so the warning is rescinded after we realize it was just fan interference. So we hawk up for the Spartans. Play Dog recently traded from Charlotte. His Let's first see if we can make some action happen on a new team. That pitch brings us to quick 0 and 2. And that one will be hit to left. Dog with a nice hit. Field can't 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 out of that first. is called. That'll be an out first. So one out for Juice, two for two. First pitch from Squeaker called ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one also out of the batter's box. Time called. So Xavier is not at the not here today, but he is in chat. So we're all wondering where he's at right now. I think I think Xavier would be happy to see his team one up, be up one zero without him. Definitely. Because according to the stats, probably the most points of the team, besides. take a moment to look at our umpiring crew for today's game at the, behind the plate crazy time man and at first Keaton Keaton's probably everyone's favorite um, base ump but nobody's favorite home plate ump he knows the rules but doesn't have a strike zone and we move to three and one for juice you say that again and that's a swing and a miss strike two full count 
Jews looking to tie this one up here with a blast. And that Ooh. pitch, walk. Oof. That looked good. You're trying to get close. him with the, with the ball on the last pitch, but it didn't work. Almost got him with the curve there. Big slow up 0 for, 1, 0 for 2. First pitch to him is going to be strike one called. Time called. I'm going to take this time out to tell you that game one of the RLDS starts tomorrow. Omaha versus Gas City. Game one Start. in Omaha. I can't wait to see that game. Look forward to see look forward to seeing you, Ash, in the back, in the commentary booth. So Okay, so that second pitch will be called. One and one count. Play ball called. Big slow at the plate. Juice taking a little bit of a lead off of first. And that pitch. Looked in there. The pitch will be called. The uh, call is? What's the pitch call? Okay, so the pitch will be called a strike. So we'll move to one and two. Uh, squeak complaining about the call at first, even though he was safe. And now, Big Slow is complaining about a very blatant strike. Got lots of complainers in this game today. That's lovely. So that'll be a swing and a miss. Strike three, and we'll move to two outs. Oh, what a dramatic exit by Big Slow there. As he resets, we hawk up now. O for three, O for two. Enraged by Big Slow. Maybe First pitch, he was a strike one. And Weehawk will hit that one to center. Fielded, the throw to first. Safe. Very close. And the call will be... Looks safe to me. Yeah. With everyone's favorite. He will safe. Call safe. Oh. Very close. I would, I would agree with that one. Oh, Finn Clary is up now. Tough to see that Big Slow was not able to handle the pressure and rage quit. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see him later in this game. Looking at the replay, he was safe. So we'll have the first batter got on by a walk, right? No. So, yeah, that'll be the Spartans' third hit on the game. Finn Clary up. Finn Clary on the season, batting 328, a little bit below average for the Spartan squad. But he is fourth on the team in RBIs with 12. So let's see how his clutch hitting so far has... Oh, and Squeaker goes... After a pitcher goes AFK. He says one second time. So I take this moment to emphasize one of the biggest game changers of this game: the lack of Doug for the Nass, and the lack of Xavier for the Mountaineers. And play ball, zero and one count, or oh, zero and zero count for Finn Clary. First pitch taken for ball one, one and zero. Taken again. This one will be called. Likely an appeal. I mean, the appeal process happening right now. And this one will be called strike one. One and one. And that will be called a strike as well. One and two. Taken, takes a roller. Ball two. And he'll take that one. Looked close. The call will be... Oh, for me. In there. Strike three. So... No runs on two hits, two men left on base. As we move into top three. Pull the upset against here against a heavily favored Nas in the series. A loss here for Nas will be huge 
as it'll be match point going into the Mountaineers home series. Um, the on mobile speedy runner is up, as you can clearly see from his activities in the batter's box. And he doesn't have a uniform. Yeah, that that too. The playoffs. Play ball called. First pitch. Taken for strike one. Crazy strike zone seems a little bit bigger than a lot of other umps, but at least it's consistent. So that that hit, that'll move us to one and one, and he's calling OBB for some reason, but he wasn't. Um, the next pitch taken. Two and one. That's Ooh. two and two. Two and two. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> and he will. He'll strike out, and it seems that he's been benched due to the fact that he's on mobile. So it'll be one out. And look who it is. And Xavier, Xavier has Miami. shown. This is bad news for Nias, in my opinion. I'm not here. I feel that Nas will not be able to put up the First same pitch. amount of points. Taken. Strike one. Perkins swings at that one. Owen oh Zoo. And that one. Yeah, in there. Strike three. So, two quick outs here. I think. Unless he. Yeah, strike three. Okay, so two outs. Ducky comes up. It's two outs in top three for West Virginia. I think if the Spartans Ooh. score a run in this game, they're going to win. Takes ball one after strike one. And that one will be in there as well. One and two. He'll take that one. Looked close. Called two and two. And a swing and a miss, strike three. Another three strikeout inning for Juice brings us to the bottom of the third. I think for this game, aside from the first at bat slip up, Juice has given his team all the opportunity they need to win this game. However, it just seems to not be happening. I think Juice is going to have to show that he, he's MVP, MVP caliber. I'm here. Aim to put his team up. Oh. So Xavier will lead off next inning. Juice leading off for Nass. So far gone on base every at bat. He's carrying just about as much as everyone predicted him to. Time called by Squeaker. <laughs> but I think if the Spartans don't win this game, they're going to be in a heaps of trouble next game. Due to the fact that, that Juice and Doug are their top two pitchers by a lot, and neither of them will be able to pitch next game. And That's Juice true. goes into a one and one count after the first two pitches. He'll take that one. Ball strike two called. Takes another two and two. And he'll swing and miss at that one, and he'll strike out one out for. The first out of bottom three, as Weehawk will come up to bat, Finn Clary on deck. It'll be interesting to see who will step up to the plate for now this game and hopefully get them the next win. First pitch, ball one, one to no. 
Takes another. I'm assuming ball two. Ball two. That looked like a strike, and it'll be called a strike. Two and one. That one called strike as well, and time is called. Two two. They're complaining about a quick quick pitch here. Um, so, uh, the pitch is going to be called a strike. The time was called during the pitch, so now it actually is 2-2. Okay. So two and two count for Weehawk. Play ball called. First pitch, the two and two pitch taken for ball three. Full count. And swing and a miss, strike three. So it'll be two outs for Finn Clary. And that'll be a swing and a miss late on that fastball. Time called. Oh, it's time called because the pitcher needs to get his playlist. A one play ball takes ball one, one and one. Swing and a miss, strike two. That one. Looked a little fast. QP called two and two. So a two and two count for Finn Cleary. Play ball called. That pitch taken. Strike three. And that'll be the third out. I don't so understand why. Four. Spartans still runless in this game. I finally understand why you mistake Flynn Curry Looking for a rookie. The line score on the game today. The Spartans with three hits, the Mountaineers with one, with two innings left. The Mountaineers, however, their only hit was a solo home run. So, as we move into the fourth inning, it's still 1-0 West Virginia. Hasn't changed since the fourth pitch of the game. We look out here in the stadium. It's oriented ball game so far. Out here in the crowd today, we can see everyone's favorite, Zach Hample, today. Also with him is Tornado JS, a player from the Rock Valley Cougars. First, per, first pitch to Squeaker is called strike one. He takes ball one, one and one. Two and one. Swing and a miss, strike two, two and two. And that'll be strike three called, one out. Both teams are looking a little lackluster today besides that one solo home run. Quiz quiz up. First pitch taken. 
Strike one. 0 and 1. And that'll be upstairs. Ball one, 1 and 1. Swings at the another upstairs pitch. 1 and 2. A very fast pace at bat so far called ball two. Two in each. That pitch Ooh. looked a little inside. Nice pitch. And it is full count. Three and two. So I think a little slow right now. And uh, that will be a... Uh, Late swing. That's called. And there was still no hit sound there, so I'm kind of confused as to what really happened there. The bat didn't register the ball being hit. At this moment, to look at our two outfielders we have today. Today we have Weehawk, number three. The recent transaction gained. Called. And that'll be another late swing. I hit the, uh, did I hit the body or did I hit the... Two out of four. Full count still for for quiz. Another pitch thrown at the bat. It didn't register again. That's really weird. And he'll be tagged out. So two outs I'm starting to think in top four. That the bats here are rigged. Perkins will come up to bat. Perkins, batting now. Only person on West Virginia so far to get a hit is Squeaker with the, the leadoff home run. Play. First pitch, so we're going to miss strike one. Foul ball. I don't think my sound is working. Yeah, my sound's not working. That's weird. My sound is low. One one. Play ball. One and one. And so we're gonna miss strike two. One and two. And that'll be hit. Yeah. Right center field. Wow. Right there. And that'll be a base hit. He's digging for two and he returns. So that'll be a base knock for West Virginia. They're second of the ball game in top four. Now batting, General Ducky. Juice getting visibly angry at his fielders for general incompetence. Play ball called. Time called. I like to take the second As to go over the. Yes. And Juice is kind of Juice? running up to the dugout and yelling at West Virginia for some reason. Oh, okay. Very low-scoring game. And Juice is, again, running to the dugout to trash talk. And Juice is trash-talking the game now by referencing previous games in which the Spartans won. Even though, right now, the Spartans are not winning. And Juice has been warned by the umpire 
for general toxicity, and play ball is called. First pitch to general, taken ball one. Next pitch, taken also, one and one. He'll take the high one, moves us to two and one. And Juice is getting progressively more triggered as people talk to him. Two and two for General. And that pitch, full count, three and two with two outs. The payoff pitch, that looked. That's a swing and a miss, strike three. So we will move to bottom four. Spartans have two more chances to tie this game up. No runs on one hit, one man left on base. Squeaker will remain on the mound in the fourth. First pitch taken, ball one, one and oh to Finn Clurry. Takes another, two and oh. Steps in the back, that pitch will be called two and one. There's another pitch. That one looked low, two and two, okay. And that one right at the bat, late swing called. Two and two still. You called by the ump there. Play, two and two. That pitch, lag pitch, one out of six for Squeaker. If he were to lag pitch out of this game, that would be detrimental to the Mountaineers. And that'll be another late swing. So it'll be two out of four late swings with two balls and two strikes now. It's quite weird that the Spartans haven't been showing or aren't at this game, even though they asked to be moved to today instead of Sunday. And that pitch hit fairly late swing. That's not very late, but it'll be late swing three out of four, full count again. So Finn Clary, late, late swing three out of four. This will be the last pitch of the at-bat. I expect Squeaker to throw it. Th and that's very in there. Strike three, one out. Lots of strikeouts, not many defensive outs here. Juice up. He's gone on base all every time but one so far in this game. Basically carrying the entire Spartans offense on his back, as that'll be ball one. And the he'll be way out of the batter's box for that one, but it'll be fielded and the throw in time on this one, and he will be out at first. Great play by the West Virginia center fielder on that one to get the throw off in time. So we hawk up now with two down in the bottom of the fourth. Center fielder right there was S.J. Perkins. First pitch to Weehawk. Ooh, I thought that was gone for a second. The fielder will get to it, but the throw will not happen, so he'll be safe at first. A single for Weehawk. Perhaps starting a two-out rally for the Spartans. Finn Clary up now. Flinker, get it going. He's been ice cold this game. And that'll be a swing and a miss, strike one. He'll take ball one. Takes another pitch. Strike in there. That's in there as well, it looked like to me anyway. Strike three. And that'll end the inning. So no runs on one hit. 
will move in to top five. He asks, what's cold? Do you mean cold? Finn Flinker. Flurry. That's what it is. So we're going to move into the top of the fifth. The Spartans, one more chance to tie this up. But the Mountaineers will have an opportunity to add on to their lead before we get to that. Is there a com uh, there is a commotion at the head at the home base right now for some reason. Apparently, people are complaining about the. Even though I thought I think it's been all right all right so far. Get a warning from Xavier. So, so I'm apparently saying. Yes, yeah, something like that. Let's go ahead and let's play ball. And Juice is still arguing with the umpire. Honestly, if I was the umpire, I would I would give another DOG warning right here. He's delaying the game by a lot. Juice looks like he's the one, a new ump, but West Virginia are. And now he's asking Keaton to home plate? Oh, no, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Play ball called. First pitch. It'll be called ball one. And that'll be a swing and a miss. One and one for Squeaker. And he'll hit that one about oh. a foot and a half, and that'll be the first out of the fifth. And Juice appears to be tagging him a repeated number of times. I don't know why he's not ejected already. Due to downfall of that, for just having Doug leave in the first place. Yeah. And Juice wonders why Doug calls him toxic. Play ball called. And that one will be a no swing. 0 and 1. Play ball. And he'll swing and a miss it. He'll swing and miss at that one. 0 and 2 count. That pitch. Strike three. In there. If I was an umpire, I would tell Juice to stop running at me or I'd call balls. So every time that Juice thinks it's a strike, he just sprints directly at the umpire. Every time. And Perkins up now with two outs. Play ball called. First pitch. Lagged quite a lot there, but he'll call it a strike. And another doinker, for some reason. That'll be the third out. So... No runs on no hits, no men left on base. As we move into the final opportunity for the Spartans to tie this game up. And if Juice doesn't get anything done, this at that. Yeah, Juice leads off. If, he's, if he doesn't get on base, that will be a very bad situation for the Spartans. A bloop and a blast would walk it off here for him, and time was called before the pitch. A 
remind me to never let you up any of my games again. Okay, so Juice is just mad. He's losing. Alright, so play ball is called. First pitch to Juice is going to be a ball. Second pitch, he'll hit that one to right. Fielder's charging. Throw. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a glove run. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. That's a base hit stolen right there. Simple error. Yeah, that's that's really tough there. So it'll move to one out. That could have been an easy base hit for Juice, but he'll choke that one with the glove run. Play ball called for Weehawk. And here's our second best option right here to score. First pitch, ball one inside. Second one, swing and a miss. Big hack right there. Swing and miss again. One and two count for Weehawk. That pitch. Looked in. Inside, wow. inside ball two. Strike three swinging. And, oh, and the Spartans are down to their final out. Is it really happening? Is everything we thought that wasn't going to happen happening? Everyone with both of these series that are happened, they're like, they're, oh, there's a chance for an upset. Like, both of these teams have the, have the things they need to be successful. But the fact that Doug isn't here, and a lot of the Spartans aren't here either. Honestly, it's given the Spartans an advantage since Juice is such a powerful hitter. He's been, he's been one-third of their at-bats so far this game. And while he's getting things going, the rest of the lineup just isn't getting it done. And... In my, in my opinion, I think that NAS team is a little top heavy. Yeah, I'm going to check the chat logs there to make sure he didn't tell him to go AFK. E. Oh. Oh. Oh, he went AFK again. No. It's this fake. Is, it's fake. Suspicious. It's fake. Juice, How do you know? Juice told, Juice told Finn to go to look at DMs. Oh, oh! He's telling him to go AFK. I think that's the game. I would get that. I would just call game right there. First new walk up. That's very fishy. Actually, he's gonna do the chats. Never mind. Well, he's gonna delete the chats, but if he sends, if he sends a screenshot of him saying that he asked for the new walk up, then the timestamp would be later than when he said. All right, Finn's back. Okay, so Finn's back, so it's nothing here. So it won't be. Yeah, that's that's very fishy down to the final out, and he just says, okay, right before is it bad. Up calls for proof. Very fishy, very, very fishy by Juice there. Not very cool. Yeah, look at this. Team Finn. Where is it? DMs. 
He told him to look at his DMs. Hey, could you could you give me the time that you said? He said to look at DMs at twenty one fifty two, but that's not game time. I'll get you how long ago that was when I look at uh, the stream. So that was about three minutes ago. That was three minutes ago. So that DM should have been sent around 550, 553-ish. And it was sent... was sent... If it was sent at 555, then it's fake. <laughs> Screenshot says 5.55. It's fake. It says 5.55 with the screenshot, yeah, though. Yeah, that's fake. I'm not sure. 